are here today live for you. I'm Danielle. I'm Jessica. And I'm Jesse behind the camera. We're missing Bianca today, but that's that's all right. I feel like every, these past couple Fridays we've been missing <laughs> one person at least from our crew. Um, but we are here today, and the holidays are quickly approaching. And one of the things that you know, I know, especially for Thanksgiving, everybody's gathered around your dining room table, and you're all fancy, getting ready to eat the turkey. Why not decorate some napkins to just kind of spruce up your table, impress your guests? Super simple with vinyl, and we're going to show you how to do it. All right, we're good? Yeah. Okay. So we are going to go, these are just normal kind of... I think they're polyester. I think that was what we found out. Um, but I don't know if you can. Yeah, they're, they're nothing textured. Yeah, you can yeah. see a little pattern. Mm -hmm. Like nothing, nothing ridiculous about them. They're not like super, super high fancy napkins. Um, but they're not, they're not the paper ones. So they're, they're definitely cloth ones that you, you know, reuse. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and embellish them with vinyl. We have this is your easy weed. And some electric. We have the new cranberry electric here mm -hmm. um, that we're going to decorate with. So, very first thing you do, since it has this really kind of weird center crease, we're just going to pre-press it just to get the crease out of the middle. And we're also going to show you how to fold them like this, too, a little bit later, because why not? And hello, Tanya and Pam. Just are we in these? Oh, yeah. I do need that. <laughs> so go ahead. Since we're the, it's the easy weed. So it's super easy weed. Hence the title. I'm just gonna watch Jess do it. Oh wait, is there the pressure is on? Barbara said hello. Finally got you. Hello. Oh, this is pretty. The rose gold. Yes, I like the rose gold. That one. It's gonna print just like this. Let's this one here. Mm -hmm. and zoom in mm -hmm. on that. It's. So pretty on the cream napkin. And then we're going to do some layering. And then we're going to finish with a Christmassy one because right after Thanksgiving, that's the next holiday. Sometimes I feel like they skip Thanksgiving. When yeah. Halloween comes, it's like, let's go to Christmas. <laughs> yes. As soon as November 1. Christmas time. <laughs> but you know what? There's not too many like Thanksgiving songs or Thanksgiving movies. No. I'm just going to cut this one up. Waiting for that. Hello, Terry, Elaine, Pam, Eddie. I'm saving the last little tiniest loop. <laughs> and I am using a pressing pillow, but you don't need to. I'm only using it because. When I do the fold for this one, I just like to kind of fold it up first so I know exactly where I want to put it, and then it's easier that way. But you don't need to do um, oh, that was the easy. pressing pillow. I got all worked up. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and angle it the way I want uh, for this family print, sort of like the same way as that one, just kind of on the corner. Cover with my nonstick sheet. It up there. So we're at 305, 10 to 12 seconds. We'll get this tacked down, and then you are doing next one. Perfect. And thank you, Nathan, for the link. All right. And so nice. So easy, too. And it'll just, why not just add a little extra, extra to your table? And then how you fold, this one is, I don't really know the real method to fold this one, but. You know, we're doing this for a holiday, but we talked about this in the office. I know a lot of people who are really big, like I have a couple friends, I go, you should start like your own party decorating. Like you can do this for baby showers, sweet 16s. Um, you know how people do a lot of theme things, gender reveals. Like you can decorate these napkins, make it look super extra fancy, weddings. Okay. And really, you just did it yourself. Yes. Right. I'm just going to pre-press this one, and then we're going to fold it up because we're going to do the thankful one so you can kind of see. All right. Jesse, if you want to kind of yep. zoom in. 
All right, so if I can remember. So you fold all the way up and then halfway down. Not half, it doesn't have to be halfway, but I don't like that crease. Hold on. So I'm going to press it. I want to do it right here. My own little iron right now. All right, that works. Jeannie, Lana, Sonia, Lisa, welcome. She said it's her first time. We're excited. Oh, to welcome. Me. She's excited. Okay. So, you know, fold all the way up and then bring it down a little bit. And then I'd like to flip it over. And then you just kind of fold that way. And at this point, you can either fold this one this way or this one this way. So I don't like the edges to show. So I'm going to fold it this way. Matthew, we do not sell the napkins, but they're just on um, basic cloth napkins. Yep, these happen to be polyester. And ta-da! A little sleeve. Super easy. And we're going to take this and put it directly on our heat press since it's all nice and folded for you. You have the thankful ready? Yes, it's right here. What else do you need to get? Everything? Uh, nope, that's it. Okay. All right, and then you're just going to place it where you'd like it. Right there. Take it over here. Oh I know everything's looking like <laughs> different shaded, <laughs> non-stick sheet. That goes to show you how thin these things are, too. And you just press. Now this one we're just going to do a couple seconds because I just have a little gold piece to put underneath. And then we're going to tack it all down. Oh, Marianne, great idea. She said personalize them with your guest name. Yes, that's a good idea. That's a great okay. idea. Oh, and this little piece I need. Especially if you know a couple family members get along but not the greatest. Like, okay, you're going to sit over there. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to sit here. <laughs> They'll never know that that's the reason. Do you happen to know if these are 100% poly or just They are 100% poly. There you go, Matthew. They're 100% poly cloth napkins. Okay. We'll just kind of put this down. And I, I love the, it. This is just the standard gold, but it has that little sheen to it, so it's really quite nice. All right. Cover that. And then we'll just press that for the full 12. Now we're pressing with vinyl, Lisa. This is the electric, right? Yes, rose electric gold. rose gold. <laughs> Nathan said we're making a cloth of vinyl panini. <laughs> you know, it's lunch and we didn't start eating yet. Panini look how pretty broken. that is. Mm, spinach with chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, so let's jump seasons. We're going to go Christmas. All right, we're just going to press this just to get the wrinkle out, just because who wants the wrinkle? And nobody irons nowadays, so. I know. I'll throw my shirt in the dryer for about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> perfect. I love something like that to iron my daughter's clothes. Like that real weird material that just wrinkles up a bait and sit down. <laughs> All right. Now I have to make sure that I put it the right way. All right. So this is going to go here. And what you can do with the vinyl, just to make sure, you know, you're placing it where you need it and that everything will look all right. You just stick one on top of the other. This has like a horrible static cling right now. Hi, Midge. She said, hi, girl. Hi. And Barbara says, beautiful. Okay, so that's going to work there. So I'm just going to heat press this. And this, this new color, the cram Electric Cranberry from Caesar, it is just, I absolutely, this is my new favorite. The absolute, the prettiest vinyl. I feel like electric is my favorite from them. Oh, that's very nice. And you're, you are seeing the details through this, and that's fine. That's how you know it's on there. So that's perfectly fine to do that. And then we're going to take this. I'm just going to pull it off the press so we can line it up good. What else I like about electric is that it can give you like that foil look too without the sensitivity of foil. Foil doesn't last very long. And sometimes, like with ours, you need the adhesive to go on it. This gives you that appearance, but with the more sturdy, steady, what's the word I'm looking for? Durable. Yes, more durable. Product. Didn't need to yeah. start with S at all. 
You know what? I don't like how I should have turned my flower just a little bit. So I'm just going to cut these because I can. That's the beauty of the vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of place it where I want it. That looks better. Okay. And we're going to take it over here. Heat press this again. And then I have a little bit of the center. Mm -hmm. Frank said it looks like a fine red wine. That it does. <laughs> Terry says the cranberry is great, but rose gold goes great with everything. Why do I not have that color? Yes, rose gold oh, is so nice. awesome. Gorgeous. Even just looking at the scraps is just like <laughs> so pretty. All right, and then I have a itty bitty little center piece to add into my little poinsettia here. But you can also make these really fun. I saw um, I saw napkins that had like naughty and nice on the, the the red was naughty, and then they had a green napkin that said nice. So you know you can be really creative with these. Yeah, you can even play games with the kids. Like if they find a certain napkin, you could give them something, keep them busy. I'll find the stuff where it needs to be. Yeah, you know, fortunately, if you want a vinyl design, um, we don't make custom vinyl. You would, this is for, you know, people who have a cutter. But you may want to look into our cutter packages, like the Silhouette Cameo. That's typically about two fifty nine ninety nine. That's a great starter cutter. Some people use it even way past the starter phase. But um, it comes with its own software, and you can cut your designs and make designs like this. And these designs were all found on Love SVG. Um, so it's a free site. You can make little donations. Um, but you know, once you get the designs, that's that's half the battle. I feel like is getting the designs or making them, and then decorating is just the fun part. So that came out really good. A nice little holiday napkin, festive. Barbara, we don't sell these SVG files. They're on what's it called again? Love SVG. Love SVG. There's a lot of sites out there that do sell them. Um, we just don't have them yet to sell if, if we are going to. But um, it's one of those things like in the works kind of thing. But they're out there. Etsy sells a bunch. Um, you know, there are a lot of different kind of options out there to purchase SVG files and to use them for personal or commercial use. So definitely check those out if you have a heat press, or I'm sorry, if you have a cutter you know, look into getting those files or create your own files and, you know, how how easy all this stuff is to make. Yeah. Once once you have that file, you're you're good to go. Okay. Any other questions? Um, no, Lisa says she's going to keep watching and she does have the cameo. She purchased it two years ago, so can we inbox her some sites, please? So we'll get back to you on that. Nathan did post a link right above your comment. You want to check them out as well. Um, let's see. And we do post all of our Facebook Lives on our YouTube channel and also under our help section, we have a very extensive video library. It stores all our Facebook Lives. It also stores um, previously recorded webinars and a lot of different product videos for different things that we offer on ProRodings.com. Okay. This is a, this is a quick and easy one today. <laughs> That's a no question. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.